Omar Nashashibi with the Franklin Partnership in Washington, D.C., bringing you two minutes with one voice, our weekly video update from the National Tooling and Machining Association and the Precision Metal Forming Association. You know, a few things in life or politics unite people more than a common adversary, and Republicans and Democrats in Washington seem to have found one in China. This week, the U.S. Senate began the process of moving legislation to address supply chain disruptions and China's economic and national security actions over the last years. The Senate Commerce Committee is advancing a bill by Democratic Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer of New York and Republican Senator Todd Young of Indiana that includes $2.4 billion to expand the Manufacturing USA network, establishes 10 regional technology hubs, and creates a Directorate for Technology and Innovation at the National Science Foundation to advance research and development domestically among U.S. manufacturers. This is just one of several pieces of bipartisan bills making their way through the U.S. Senate. Another one is a 280-page measure coming out of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee that addresses issues such as unfair Chinese trade, government subsidies, forced labor, cybersecurity, and Chinese investment abroad. Then there is also another one by Senator Coons of Delaware and Rubio of Florida specific to supply chains that are circulating on Capitol Hill, as is a bill to create a chief manufacturing officer within the White House and a mandate the development of a national industrial innovation policy legislation that is endorsed by the National Tooling Machining Association and Precision Metal Forming Association. Now, China has taken notice, and they too retain lobbyists and consultants here in Washington who see these efforts as the first legitimate bills to take on China since the WTO session more than 20 years ago. Since then, we have all seen a drastic shift in public opinion and political will towards China that has really exacerbated over the last year. In my near quarter century working in this town, few issues really have brought Republicans and Democrats together, like China and their impact on domestic and global supply chains. There is broad agreement here that policymakers must act, and Majority Leader Schumer is committed to bringing a bill to the Senate floor in the coming weeks based on sources. The question is what the final bill looks like, but as of now, that effort does have the support of many manufacturers and the politicians on both sides. So stay tuned, but it does look like this very partisan Washington might actually move a bipartisan bill related to China. Stay tuned. This has been your update, Two Minutes from One Voice, presented by the Precision Metal Forming Association and National Tooling Machining Association.